Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his map. Today we're going to be talking about the TICS 5.4b representing of multi-step problem involving the four operation. So we're going to be talking about how to use these three diagrams and equations. This presentation I'm going to give it at the end, this little slide over here, so you can take some notes. But I just want to touch base that we're going to be talking about addition problems, we're going to be talking about subtraction problems, we're going to be talking about multiplication problems, and the two different types of division problems that are partitive and quotative. So now, let's show time. For every word problem, we always need to do our annotation. So we're going to highlight the parts in yellow, we're going to highlight the values in each part in green, and we're going to highlight the total in red. Of course, we'll have to underline our question. Now, let's read. Shaniqua buys, one, buys 140 small bits and 30 large bits to make bracelets. She makes five bracelets. She uses 13 bits on each bracelet. How many bits does Shaniqua have left? Now, I'm going to annotate. I have a total. This is the total amount of bits that she has. She makes five bracelets. Those are the five parts that I have. And she uses 13 bits on each part. Now my question is, how many bits does she has left? So now I'm going to create a street diagram. So how I'm going to create this street diagram? Remember that at the top of the street diagram goes my total and at the bottom my parts. Of course, we can have some exceptions, but this is how it usually goes. So on the top, I'm going to be writing down my 140 and 30 because they together, they're going to become my total. And now she makes five bracelets. I'm going to ask you a question. Are five equal parts here? You need to be careful with this little word over here. Left. Left means that is there are five parts and there is one more. That one is going to be the left portion. So now each of those five parts are going to have 13. And then we're going to call the left, we're going to call it B. Why B? It's just to call it like bracelet that she has left. Now, we can create the equation. B, that is what is left, is equal to 140 plus 30, that are the small bits and the large bits together, minus the five parts times 13. Because I have 13, how many times? Five. Now, I just have to start solving to find the answer for this equation. So remember that I have to do always the PEMDAS procedure or PBMDAS, that is the order of operation procedure. So let's do first the uh, parentheses. I'm sorry, I, I had the word bracket in my mind. Now let's do 140 plus 30, that's gonna be equal to 170. So 170 minus five, times 13. Am I going to solve first the subtraction? No, I'm going to solve first the multiplication. 5 times 13, that's going to be equal to, I'm going to make a tic-tac-toe, that's going to be equal to 65. So 65 is what is in total among my five bracelet that she's making. Now I just have to subtract 170 minus 65, that's going to be equal to 105, 105, 105 bits left. That's it. That's my answer for this exercise. Now, let's practice without solving, just representing. The cost of three pizzas is shared equally by six people. Each pizza costs $9. Each person contributes with $5. Which equation could be used to find M, the amount of money left? So M is the amount of money left. I am going to make this a representation, a street diagram, to try to understand this word problem. So let's do it. Now, as you see over here, my total in this case are the amount of people. There are six people. Each of them gave $5. So that means that I have a total of six times five. And then I'm going to subtract the amount that is going to be nine times three or three times nine actually because we have three pixels that each of them cost nine whenever i do that which one of the equation matches with this one it will be the third equation 
Why? Because I just have to do first six times five because I have six parts of five each minus three times nine because I have three parts of nine each. Whenever I make that subtraction, I'm going to have M, the amount of money left. With that being said, thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we were working with representing and solving multi-step problems involving the four operations using equations. So now, as I told you, here are the operations that I want you to take some notes about how to relate the equations for each of these three diagrams. Thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful day.